it can be any communication network like 2G or 3G, but uh, and uh, Zigbee protocol, fiber net, anything may be there. All the things are interconnected, and the all the assets of the power uh, distribution company can be monitored as well as the uh, user can also be monitored. For example, it can be easily uh, used. It can be used used to measure the uh, power uh, consumed. What is the power consumed by the user? Like a smart meter, they can implement the smart meters in the consumer's home or in a company, whatever may be the thing. And they can easily monitor the real power or reactive power, and whether they are violating the rules uh, by not maintaining the zero, not maintaining the power factor. Like that, you can uh, all the things can be monitored from a single place using the scatter monitor system uh, for a larger network. It's an uh, outcome of uh, cyber physical energy system uh, power systems and these three are the major trends like renewable energy integration now most of the researchers are working on that and uh, they are working on the uh, algorithms mainly how to integrate how efficiently can be integrated for example some algorithms are already uh, researchers have developed for example even a, a single uh, one watt if it is uh, produced they can upload the they can uh, integrate with the uh, uh, grid like that they are producing in cyber physical energy systems they are uh, mostly evolving based on the cyber security thing how the cyber threats in the power systems can be uh, monitored and how it can be uh, safe the power systems from the uh, hackers or uh, uh, thefters another thing a small grid now uh, actually more pilot projects are going on in the small grids and even uh, you can take uh, Netherlands. There are community-based small grid and micro grids are there. For uh, for example, they will take some 20, 30 homes, and uh, there will be a community micro grid, and it will be a small grid, like a smart micro grid will be there. The power sharing will be between the uh, 20 homes, and the monitoring station, everything will be between the 20 homes alone. That's a community micro grid. For that, they implemented small grids technology. Okay. Then we are going to the uh, what are the tools required for uh, studying the power systems before implementing MATLAB. In this, uh, we can do uh, simulation and programming. Both the things will be there. Similar in the programming, we can uh, write the coding based on uh, related to C or C plus plus, and we can uh, execute the uh, power flow or uh, uh, short circuit studies like that we can execute and we can take the results and same as that the simulink is there the simulink we can simulate the uh, power systems like uh, uh, generating station that is uh, some election machine will be there then the transformer will be there then the distribution line then uh, step down transformer then the load we can easily simulate the real scenario of the uh, existing power systems same as that PS card. In the PS card, there will be only option of uh, uh, simulation only. There will be uh, there is no option for coding. By coming to the ETAP, ETAP is used for uh, load flow studies. We can easily generate the load flow studies. For example, if uh, Chennai city is there, uh, there will be an, uh, a number of uh, distribution station, uh, distribution transformers will be there. There will be more uh, division, north, north zone, south zone, east, west zone will be there. All the zones we can take the well, uh, data, real time data from that zones, and we can estimate the power demand and power flow studies using ECAP. Same as that with Silent also. Lab you, it is a graphical programming. In the graphical program, you can emulate the uh, um, some events. For example, if there is any power, any uh, visualization of any uh, uh, problems we need to realize, uh, we need to see. For example, if any uh, sag is happening in the system, we don't know how it is happened. We can emulate that by our own, and we can uh, realize that oh, the, uh, by because of this reason only the event has been recorded as sag. Like that, we can emulate in the lab view. And while coming to the electrical cat, cat it is not a simulation software; it is a drawing thing. We can draw the power system, whole power systems, and uh, we can uh, use it for the uh, commissioning time. Coming to the hardware for power systems, main uh, player in the hardware is ABB. Uh, they are producing uh, uh, production system, production systems, uh, then drive systems, and more um, 
literally they are uh, uh, abb and g g are the major power players in the hardware software systems for uh, real time implementation as well as simons cluster rockwell automation they are uh, mostly cluster and rockwell automation most focus on the drive systems and lancer and turbo uh, they are mostly in the transmission line uh, implementation systems and um, and now we are going to see about the outline of the power systems like uh, previously we see about the basic components how the power system is working like how the generation transmission and distribution is happening and what are the tools we can use it for realizing the power systems and uh, what are the hardware components and who will supply the hardware components and how it will be implemented like that we can uh, see in the previous thing now we are going to see about the outline of the power systems the total uh, syllabus like uh, Uh, starting from electric power generation is what are the generation methods how it can be obtained then the transmission line set cables like how the transmission lines can be designed the cable design selection of cables selection of uh, transmission lines in the distribution systems when we are coming to the distribution systems <clears throat> uh, like uh, if we get taken the load flow studies of the distribution system and how it can be implemented like that then insulated design for example if 100 kilovolt is uh, kilovolt is transmitting what will be the insulators what type of insulators can be used whether glass or ceramic and what will be the um, capacity of the insulator uh, uh, insulator then load flow studies the load flow studies uh, mainly uh, gauss seidel uh, newton raphson method is frequently used for uh, analyzing the load flows of a power system then voltage and power factor correction uh for example if there is been some inductive loads or machines will be there there will be a power factor problem will be there in the system how it can be uh, compensated like we can use an active power compensation or passive compensation or we can use some batteries with passive compensation for uh, maintaining the power factor if the power factor is disturbed the efficiency of the system will come down and um, the like the problem will be in based on the economic operations if the power factor problem is occurred the problem will necessarily come to the economic operation because if the power system is designed for a uh, one uh, system level voltage and this will be the cost of that and the consumer will get this amount that will be affected if the power factor is not maintained properly then we'll coming to the symmetrical components and faults for example uh, if it is a three phase line there will be a uh, faults like phase to phase fault or um, phase to ground a three phase fault uh, if it is a single phase there will be a uh, phase to ground fault will be there in order to find the uh, fault how the fault is occurred how it can be recovered what will be the short circuit uh, current in that time and whether the system is able to withstand for the short circuit uh, current when the fault is occurred everything will be calculated using this uh, symmetrical components and fault fault, uh, fault section then protection if the fault is occurred it needs to be uh, what pro, uh, the uh, system needs to be protected from the fault for example if uh, any f- short circuit is happened immediately within some uh, uh, microseconds the system needs to be isolated from the affected area uh, just like uh, we can use the uh, uh, relay uh, mm, what what about, um, there are uh, numeric relay or uh, uh, distance protection relay are there based on the uh, need uh, the relays can be placed for distance protection or uh, short circuit protection which um, what's a, uh, based on the load flow studies we can uh, place all these uh, uh, protection components then stability of the system for example if we implemented on system we need to know how the stability of the system is so the stability studies can be done with the system stability topics then hvdc idea i said the dc transmission it will comes under the hvdc topics uh, for example uh, what are the what type of converters we can use whether vac uh, converter or llc converter what are the problems in vac that is voltage stress converter what are the problems in llc converter uh, whether it is in uh, single line uh, transmission or double line transmission we can classify it how, uh, based on the voltage level and the needs of the consumer then uh, the last three topics is uh, totally interlinked to topics uh, it's not a pure power system topic for example electronics application to power systems 
in the current scenario without power electronics most of the power systems we cannot operate like uh, renewable energy systems the integration of a solar uh, power to a grid or a are linking uh, two asynchronous grids for example one grid will be in 60 hertz another grid will be a 50 hertz we can easily interconnect that through power transfer devices like uh, using the back to back converters the front end uh, will be an active rectifier and back end will be an uh, active inverter the so front end will have then uh, this uh, ac supply and it will convert into the dc common point then we can uh, uh, change into the required frequency it can be anything like input is 60 but you need to uh, give the consumer as 50 means we can change that for that application then for reactive power compensation and active power compensation the polytronic equipments are used for example if you have any voltage related issues usually like sacks well or unbalance it can be compensated by uh, Uh, the the like dynamic voltage restorer the dynamic voltage is the active uh, active system uh, designed based on the polytronics uh, devices and it can compensate the required voltage for example if the system needs some 230 volt but due to some sag problem it is 180 volt the remaining voltage will be compensated by the active uh, active filter that is a dvr if the problem is with the uh, current it can be uh, compensated by the d statcom that is a static compensator uh, then um, if there is con- uh, problem in both uh, voltage and current it can be compensated by unified power quality conditioner and fax devices more number of uh, application now coming down based on the, uh, this topic like power tronics application to power systems then renewable energy systems uh, like integration of solar wind uh, biomass now uh, tidal is evolving Uh, that can uh, how it can be integrated what are the devices required for integration of uh, renewable energy systems to the existing grid or whether we can use it as a uh, separate micro grids like the topics it will come under the renewable energy systems the smart grid the smart grid is uh, like uh, what the, how smartly we can control and monitor the grid using uh, type of physical systems or no, uh, normal iot based systems Uh, based based on the requirements we can uh, do the smart grid problems these all the overall topics come under the uh, uh, outline of power system starting from generation to uh, the current trend of uh, smart grid and what are the jobs if i know power system how can i what are the jobs in entry level i can get you can get a power system designer electrical design engineer or system studies engineer what the work i will do in those jobs you can uh, do the power system simulation system diagram that is one line diagram system calculation pulmonary studies and short circuit studies these are the works we can uh, the person can do in the entry level of uh, power system jobs then we go to the senior level of then in the senior level of jobs it's like a power system electrical studies uh, senior engineer then project lead engineer uh, process uh, process power manager specialist in power systems these are some senior level jobs which are currently existing in that what they will do they will lead the projects they uh, they review the designs done by the juniors that is the entry level uh, persons and they will check the feasibility of the studies and the commissioning of the project and system compliance study whether the uh, design is um, will fulfill the requirements of the consumer uh, and if uh, what will the problems occur like that the study the extensive studies will be carried by the senior level uh, persons then we go to the management level management level jobs in that the power system manager will be the power system uh, manager of power system and distribution they will they usually do the do the project manager management and power system management like if the power flow studies or short circuit studies or the designs compliance study whatever may be done by the junior levels it can be reviewed and implemented and the, the process flow is checked by the uh, top level managers and what's the requirement for the domain entry basically uh, they need an uh, bachelor degree in electrical engineering then it can be masters in power systems or masters in high voltage engineering uh, if the candidate is with the bachelor in electrical engineering they can go specific with the power systems course or masters in power systems to get enter into the field more on the degree uh, they need a uh, down level knowledge on the uh trends